how to create a Wix wedding website. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a website for your wedding, for your gift registry, for your menu items, for anything that you want to plan regarding your wedding and how you can organize that on a website. So let's get into it. Now, first off, I have created my Wix account. I already have one and you can just use your Gmail to set up your Wix account. It's very simple and easy. You just have to open up your Gmail account and then you're just going to continue and verify your email. After that, this is going to be your basic dashboard and I'm just going to click on create new site over here. And now Wix is going to ask me what kind of website I am looking to build over here. So you can see you can add wedding to search for wedding and then you can see over here wedding menu wedding planning blog wedding events and band whatever you want so let's just search for wedding and keep it very broad now you can let the wix adi create a website for you or you can create your website with the editor now we're going to go with the template and in this situation i might even want to opt for a blank template i don't want to exactly use one of their templates directly i want something that is going to be very custom especially if you're doing your own wedding organization or if you're doing your wedding planning on a website you want something that is unique to you but if you are looking to just keep a general good outlook for your wedding and you want to just save up some of the important highlights of your wedding definitely check out any of these templates now for this video i am going to actually move on ahead with a template and show you guys how you can customize a template to your own needs so if i take a look at this template Template, which I find to be very gorgeous. I'm just going to click on edit and open up this template and show you guys how you're going to start editing your template to fit what you need your template to serve. Now, there are many things you might want your Wix website to do. Uh, depending on the purpose that you're creating your website for, you might want this website to serve as your gift registry. You might want it to serve as your invitation confirmation. You might want to serve as your general vetting invitation itself. So you can create different pages to represent each of these little things. I'm waiting for this template to load up so I can show you guys how to get started. And it usually does take a couple of minutes to load a template on Wix. Now you can see over here our template has been loaded and it's a very gorgeous template. Now obviously we're not Tanya and Josh, we're going to change the names starting off. So. First off, I don't like the thin text. I want it to be bold. So I'm going to click on bold as soon as I get here. And then you're going to add your own name. So let's just say Jane and John, like so. Now I'm going to just do this, enlarge the text a bit. And I might just want to change the font. So this looks good. And if you ever wonder if your text is centered or not, just move your text around. And when you get this little purple line, this means that your text is centered. But if you want both of the names to appear at a equal distance, it's not going to be perfectly centered because you're not going to have perfectly symmetrical names. So you're going to have to do that by eye like this. So this, although it's perfectly centered in the terms of the page, the names are not centered according to the flowers. I'm just going to keep it a bit off center like here. So after you have set your own name, you can decide what the first page is going to be. Now, the first page in this situation, I want to create a website that is going to serve as a invitation, as a detailed story, not a detailed story, but as a detailed event plan and a gift registry. So you can see all these basic pages have been created on this website, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on manage pages and I'm actually going to delete all of these pages and add my own pages that I prefer. So I'm going to delete all of this stuff and show you guys how you're going to do that from scratch. Now, Jane and John, then you're going to add your second invite you to their bond of forever. Whatever kind of cliche line you want, you can add that over here like this. So after you have added your basic home page, you're going to obviously rename this page. You click on manage pages over here. Then you're just going to click on these three dots and then you can rename it from here. And I'm going to name this as the welcome page. Then you're going to add your second page and then there's two things you can do. You can either add your basic pages or you can add sub pages within a page. So we're going to click on add page and we're going to click on add a blank page. We don't want anything else. We just want a blank page. And for this new page, we're going to rename it into 
the vetting event. So that's going to be our second event. And if you want to make it a sub page, you're going to drag it to the right. Then it's going to become a sub page from the welcome page. But if you want this to be a separate page in itself, you're going to keep it to the left. Now, as we have added this second page, you're going to navigate through your pages from the top left over here. And then you're going to click on the wedding event. So after that, you can change the background for each of your pages as well. I'm going to do that actually to keep my pages a bit more easy to distinguish. So I'm just going to click on image and I'm just going to use any of Wix's free image. I'm going to go on explore and I'm going to go on media from Wix and you can easily design your own bedding website using the media from Wix as well. So I'm just going to do pink flowers and let's actually add this pink stairway. I really like this because it's about the event and how it's going to be scheduled. So yeah, this looks very nice. And after I have added this, I am going to click on this plus icon at the left side. Then I'm going to add my text where I am going to add my heading and I'm going to add the event details. So you're going to add that. Obviously you can change the font and all that. Drag that to the top and you're going to add another text block, a basic little text block. So you're going to add your venue, your RSVP, your menu, even if you want to add that. If you want to provide vegan or vegetarian options, if you want to clarify or disclose that as well, you can add those as well over here into the event details. So that's going to be your second page. After that, I'm going to click on if you want to click pages, you can add them from here as well on the left side. I'm going to click on add page and I'm going to add the most important page for most couples that are getting married, which is the gift directory or the gift registry. So we're going to rename this into the gift registry, gift registry. And you're going to click on done. After I have added this page, I'm going to change the background. And now I'm going to show you how you add your gift registry link. So first I'm going to change the background into just pink. This looks pretty decent. So after that, click on the plus icon or the add icon. And then you're going to add a button. Now, there are many ways you can go about adding your hyperlinks and adding your items to your gift registry. Or you can just add images or titles for the things you want. In my experience, I find that adding buttons is probably the most effective way of actually getting the gifts that you wanted. So what I like to do is I like to use a combination of the Wix Gallery Pro. So for this, you're going to have to go into the Add App section and you're going to go into the Wix gallery and go and install the Wix Pro gallery. Once you install that, if you click on the add section over here, you're going to be able to see this gallery option, which is usually not available. And this allows you to create beautiful little grids for gifts or whatever you want. So add little grids for that. So I like to use these. It allows you carousels, freestyles, slideshows, all of that stuff. And you can add sliders and all that. But I like to add this grid rollover and then you can add title images like this and you're going to click on change image. Obviously you're going to add the images of uh, whatever you want. So you're going to click on replace image. You're going to add your own gift images, but what you do is I'm just going to go for pink, not pink. Actually, I'm going to go for bed sheet to actually show you guys how to add the link because that's very essential in these situations. Now, let's say you wanted some kind of bed set or throw pillows or anything like that. So you're going to add the image for those. Once you have added image, you can see that image has been added. Now below that, you have this option called add a link. So over here, you're going to paste a link to where to purchase your item. If it's something from Amazon, you're going to add the link from Amazon. And I'm just going to add a random link from Amazon for bed sheets to show you guys how this function is going to work in practicality. So I'm just going to do that and show you guys after it has been completed. I'm going to copy this link from Amazon, this website, this little link, and this is going to open up in a new window. I'm going to click on done. And now it has been hyperlinked. So now if anyone clicks on that image, they're going to be linked into this Amazon website. So I'm just going to publish this website and show you guys how this little function works. Now you can see over here, my website has been published. If I go into the gift registry and I click on this 
over here you can see it says go to link if i click on the link and this amazon page pops up so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own wedding website using wix and i will catch you guys in the next video